Hey everyone, before the video begins, this video is about the Sirius V4, which LDY did send me for free for the purpose of these videos, but they did not influence my opinion on the knife whatsoever, as usual. They did, however, ask me to discuss their new LDY flipping competition, which they will be holding in about a month, which I would be happy to promote because I think it's a pretty cool thing. The LDY flipping competition 2024 will be taking place from November 25th to December 24th, the day before Christmas, and you can upload a flipping clip and participate using the hashtag LDY20, sorry, hashtag 2024 LDY competition. Upload a video to that, invite them as a collaborator, and you will be entered into the judging process of which you can be entered in to win one of many LDY related prizes, which is pretty cool. So don't miss out check out the LDY 2024 flipping competition and huge shout out to LDY for both sending me the series V4 for these videos and holding a competition like that for the community. I think it's really cool to see on with the video. Greetings everyone. Welcome back to blade bias. I just got done with a huge massive stream playing rivals two and no man's sky, both of which had pretty big updates today. Um, thank you to everyone who came out to that, and to everyone else, please join my Discord, because every time I shout that out at the beginning of this video, a bunch of people join, and it's pretty cool. Today, we will finally be talking about my time with the Sirius V4. This is a battle song that I wanted to take my time on, because my opinions have been swaying quite heavily over the past few days, but I think they have finally settled in a place where I unfortunately once again have to do one of those videos where I say that something is really good but because while the series v4 is a seriously good ballast song no pun intended especially for the low price of 150 well low for at least the serious um, the serious standards I've still had just so much trouble flipping it and trying to come up with an opinion on it that it just leaves me feeling a little bit disappointed for multiple reasons. And one of the biggest reasons really just ends up being that I think I like the Orion more, especially with the, the zippy extension spacers, which I've talked about ad nauseum at this point. But I think even without them, I remember being far more enamored by the Orion v, V1.5. Um, I remember flipping the Orion so much and thinking, wow, this is just incredible. Like, I can't believe that they did this. I'm addicted to flipping this. And I just haven't had that moment with the Sirius yet. Because while I love the look of it, while I love the Kukri blade, while I love the, the new handle design, while I love this color, there's just a few things about it that just leave me feeling, for me personally... I don't know if I like it as much as I really hoped I would. And I want to be clear, at the very beginning of the video, while people are still paying attention, this is a good ballast song. If you spend $150 on this, you will be getting a flipping experience that is good. It performs well. It is a solid flipper for the price. I just think that it could have been a little better, and maybe even would be with the Tonto Blade. So, right out of the box, the first thing I notice about the Sirius is how light it is and how little tip weight it feels like there is. I talked to Pyro about this and he said I was crazy for it, but it just hasn't gone away. Every time I fan the Sirius, it feels shaky, it feels unstable, it feels unbalanced. It just feels like the tip weight isn't there. And it also kind of feels like the end of handle weight isn't there. The Sirius V2 is a ballast song that I've always said could use a little bit more end weight on the end of the handles because I would like a little bit more momentum with it. And yet the Sirius V4 somehow makes this feel dense and momentum heavy by comparison. The ends of the handles just feel very light. They don't carry a ton of momentum. And likewise, the tip of the blade doesn't feel very heavy. It doesn't carry a lot of momentum. It leaves fans feeling dull. It kind of just loses all of its momentum. I struggled for the first two or three days doing my standard fan to choker fan on the Sirius because it felt like as soon as I went into the choker fan, it just lost all of its momentum and it just died. 
I haven't felt that on many of the other LDY products, most notably the Orion. It's why I mentioned that I like flipping it a little bit more in the beginning, because the Orion carries all of that momentum, but it doesn't lose it in the fans. It still has a very satisfying fan. And whether that's because of the handle ergonomics or the balance, I know that the Sirius isn't, doesn't have that satisfying fan for me, at least the Kukri blade. Now, I've heard from a ton of people that the Tonto blade is slightly better in this regard, and it fans way better. Um, and I'm inclined to believe them because the Tonto blade is both longer and heavier than the Kukri blade is, especially considering that the weight is probably more towards the tip. But while I love the look of the Kukri blade, and I don't intend on trading it out because I still do like this thing enough to not trade it out for a Tonto blade, it, the fans just feel greatly unsatisfying. Everything else feels fine. Um, besides a few issues with momentum, I do wish it carried a little bit more momentum, but I've kind of always felt that with the Sirius line. It does what I want it to do. It does zero Gs. It sticks to your finger and rollovers. Uh, even Z chokers are okay, but as soon as I do a fan, a, a choker fan, it just kind of dies. The other reason that I'm very disappointed with the Sirius is that we had an excellent balisong from LDY. An excellent, excellent balisong. The Corvus. And even if you didn't like it, even if it wasn't to your taste, I think a lot of people can agree that it was a truly uniquely special balisong. This has a balance that you don't really feel that often anymore. Kind of that lacking end weight, but also having a lot of blade weight and it kind of being short and stubby and fun. And I love it. You got those full channel, full channel chamfers that just make it feel round and it just fans like an absolute crazy person. And when they released the Corvus, they said that they were going to take feedback and incorporate it. They were going to take feedback and things of the Corvus and incorporate it into the Sirius V4. And that's what I thought that they did, because you'll notice that the Sirius V4 has this stripe pattern on it. I thought that they took the face pattern from the Corvus and put it onto the Sirius. And I was genuinely excited for that, especially with the way that the blade kind of looks more like the Corvus did. I was like, wow, they actually really, they actually did a really good job of implementing the Corvus features into the Sirius. But to get the Sirius in hand and figure out that not only is there no face texturing, but really there's nothing of the Corvus to even speak of here. In fact, the Corvus somehow is longer overall by like a tiny fraction than the Sirius is, which I just didn't expect because the Sirius, or sorry, the Corvus has always felt like a short, stubby balisong to me. That's kind of what I expected, especially given how blade heavy it feels. No, the Corvus is actually slightly longer. The blade weighs a little bit more. It just, it's strange to me. And I did talk to LDY about this. I did ask them, hey, you said that the Corvus was going to be implemented a little bit more on this, this Sirius model what ended up getting incorporated. And they said that the balance was a big one because people felt that the Corvus didn't have enough handle weight, which, you know, fair enough. I love the Corvus for that reason, but I can totally get behind that it doesn't have enough handle weight to do other things besides fanning because whenever I flip the Corvus, I basically only fan because it's such a satisfying fanner. Um, so they added a little bit more handle weight. They, I think they said they removed the surface texturing because some people complained about it, which is a little disappointing to me because I do find the grip on the Sirius to be a little bit lackluster, especially compared to my V2, which is polished, which adds that little bit of grip to it. Um, I personally think it would have really benefited from this not being a laser pattern and it being actual surface texturing. But one of the biggest things, the Corvus had excellent jimping really nice jimping that you could really dig your fingers into that went all the way up the, the handle as much as it needed to, and it just felt good. Only for them to completely abandon it on the Sirius. I was really hoping to see some better jimping from the V3 on the Sirius. And credit where credit's due, like this performs a lot better than you would expect. But I don't know, I think it's more due to these things on the outside rather than the actual jimping on the inside itself. 
So like it performs better than you would really expect, but still they had such a phenomenal thing going with the Corvus. I really wish they implemented a little bit more from the Corvus into it. And it ultimately leaves the Sirius in a place where if I just want to have fun, I pick up the Corvus more often. The Corvus just has more personality. It has that really, really satisfying fan to it. And while I think that the Sirius is more objectively a better flipper, I find myself going back to the Corvus and even the Orion more often. Now, granted, this thing looks incredible. And like I said, it still flips really well. I think there's a lot of people that are going to be happy with this. I think there's a lot of people that are going to be mad at me for being disappointed with this thing. But just personally, to my preferences, it's okay until I flip something else. If I only flip the Sirius for a day, I start to go, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to enjoy it a little bit more. But then as soon as I go back and I flip something else and then I come back to the Sirius, I go, oh, there's that shake that I feel. There's that wobble that I feel. There's those dead choker fans that I feel. And I am getting used to it. It's starting to feel a little bit better on the choker fans. I'm doing them a little more consistently now, but it took a while to get there. So ultimately, I'm left pretty conflicted on the Sirius. On one hand, I do genuinely think from a more objective standpoint, this could be one of the best $150 ballast songs that we've seen, especially live blades. But subjectively, I look at everything else that LDY has made and I just prefer it. Which, is that a me problem? Yes. But this channel is all about me talking about my opinions and my preferences, so... Yeah. I'm left feeling a little conflicted on the, the series. Ultimately, it becomes a ballast song that I think I'll use. I think it'd be a great EDC. I also think I will flip it from time... Gosh, it's the second time I've done that in almost the exact same place, too. Anyway, like I was saying, I will continue to flip it. Maybe I'll get used to it and I'll come back in the future and say that it's it's sick. But currently, it ends up being a ballast song that while I really do like it, I love the looks, I love the, the color, I love the design of it. The flipping of it just leaves a little bit to be desired for me personally. Um, but I can still completely recognize and understand that this is probably most definitely the best $150 live blade that we've seen. I personally will be sticking to things like the um, the Barracuda V2 or the Corvus or maybe even the Orion. While I don't think the Orion Trainer flips, mm, it, it's just a different kind of feeling. I also do want to say that the feel in the hand, I don't know, the Orion just feels denser and a little bit more premium. It's a really, ex it's a really strange feeling. Um, so yeah, while the Sirius V4 ends up being a rock-solid ballast song that anyone would be happy to have, I find myself a little disappointed for multiple reasons um, on a ballast song that I really was hyped for. Uh, looking at it in the pictures, I was really, really excited to try it. Now I get it in hand, and it's, it's okay for me personally. So... That's the complicated story with the Series V4. Fans, man, when a ballast song doesn't fan well, it is crazy just how much it affects my, my view of it. Because if this thing just fanned a tiny bit better, I think I'd have a far more positive outlook. Although the Corvus thing, I think I still would be disappointed by that. So who knows, maybe the Tonto would completely fix this thing for me. I do want to mention that LDY did offer to send me a Tonto. I declined them just because I felt like that would be too much. But... Yeah, I'm also going to have to go back and record a beginning of this video because I forgot to mention something they wanted me to mention. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Thank you to LDY for sending me this. Um, they did send this to me for free, but they did not influence my opinions in any way as usual. And yeah, I think that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Later.